Hi, Kara here and welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to use Perfect Pearls with the Mama Elephant Stamp and Die set right here. And it's a beautiful set and it comes with the matching dies. And I took a black cardstock and vellum and I cut it to nine and three quarter inches, scoring here a sixteenth of an inch because I'm using the vellum. And it's six and three quarter inches deep nine and three quarter inches long and scored at five and three quarters there. And now I'm placing the dies down so that they cut out, I wanted them to cut halfway kind of so that the stamps would be sticking out on the vellum. And I ran it through my Big Shot Plus because as you can see, there is a big difference in the width. So I had to use the Big Shot Plus. Then I remove the surgical tape that I had laid them down with carefully and now we have the wonderful die cuts and um, this it this is what came to my mind on a card so I ran with it and here's the vellum sitting inside and we are going to use the zig watercolors and when I stamp them here I'm going to stamp them with clear with Versamark and then emboss it with clear embossing powder and here I am using this set I got from Allie my friend on Stamp Nation and I'm using that little word shine now I'm going to draw out uh, just trace the insides of the flowers so that I can have just somewhat of an idea when I stamp it with the Versamark where each of the images lay so I grabbed the shine stamp right here and putting, making sure, yep, it's not upside down. <laughs> and um, I'm going to stamp it with the first mark. And I'm going to start right there in the upper corner. Then I realized I'm going to need some baby powder on here because I don't want any stray powder to, when I heat set it, to be on the black cardstock. So this is just plain baby powder, smells wonderful. And I put it right there and I take my uh, makeup applicator, my cheek blush brush, and that's what I use to uh, wipe everything down. Makes your room smell yummy. And I took it off there and now I'm going to stamp shine all over that because I'm going to use my Perfect Pearl powders on top of the Versamark and I'm going to use lots of colors in the um, uh, Perfect Pearls powders and I also will use the Perfect Pearl liquid so I've got them all on there and then I'm going to grab my Perfect Pearls, like take this. out all the colors and uh, we'll yeah, do that card after. Project. Now I've taken coloring. my Zig Clear watercolor yeah. pens and I'm starting to color over. You can see how I've already embossed it with clear embossing powder after I stamped each image. And now so as I'm coloring beautiful. this, I am, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just placing the color it. that like I want down. Because I'm going to spray the hole. vellum with water and mm. make a background. So, And then I'm going to use the Wink Estella Orange after this. I'll show you. Uh, how it's going to turn out so you don't need to color this precise just get color down on the uh, vellum and coloring vellum is wonderful it's like a real slippery surface and it takes to the water and the zig watercolor pans beautifully you should give that a try it's really nice so now I've spritzed some water a good amount of water and I'm letting it just move around like that and then I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to set it. As you can see here, isn't that pretty? And it just gravitates to that uh, Versamark and the clear embossing powder. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of red on this side. It seemed a bit empty over there. So I grab my Zig Clean watercolor pen and put some down, squirt some water on there and there we go, move it around and dry it and it's going to be awesome. Look at that. So now I am going to heat set it and take, as soon as it's nice and dry, I'm going to take my Wink Estella and I'm going to use every color that's in that 
uh, zig marker. I'm going to go around with the Wink Costella. Now when you take the Wink Costella and you take a baby wipe and you pat it down, it pushes it into the grooves of your Versamark uh, watercolor there, the, your heat set watch. And it blends beautifully. I mean, it is absolutely wonderful. You can't believe it until you see it once you pounce that baby wipe on the Wink Estella, how those uh, marks, the, the uh, saturation picks up, and it looks beautiful front or back. That's what I was looking at, and I just pressed it around. And I just wanted to show you how pretty and vibrant this Wink Estella colors are, because generally I would use the clear on images, but I, I am just, and see, even if you spread it, it gravitates to the uh, embossed area with the clear embossing powder. It just gravitates to it. It's beautiful. So I took a lot of colors. I think I have yellow and green and purple and pink. I used orange and two shades of blue, some violet, um, all kinds. The Wink Estella come in many colors, so I decided to take and make use of them. There you go. But once you take that baby wipe, it pushes it into the, the resist, the clear embossed resist, and it is stunning. It's just a stunning card to see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep going, but I wanted to show you it as we were moving along and then when I'm going to take not the perfect pearls and I'm going to take the uh, stickles and I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the perfect pearls as pearls but I'm also going to draw, uh, draw with them on the leaves which gives you a 3D look that I'll show you later on in the card that's really pretty and here I'm just adding some more on the outside to make it really vibrant. There we are and then when I now see the lines in there, how pretty that is. Oh, it's like it took all day to color it. It's so beautiful. Adding some yellow. And then I will show you uh, how it looks when I close up the card. And then as I close the card, I realize that I'm going to need to take some off of that right side. There's where I put the red down, the zig color red. Uh, there's just too much. Uh, it was off kilter there as I'm looking at it. That's what I I think I'm going to point to it here so that, uh, yeah, right there just needs to come off. So I took the Stampin' Up! that real heavy uh, tape runner and I'm putting it on because when you use the watercolor, as you know, you're going to have to have a good sticky back on there. And I wanted it to be on a black cardstock. I thought with the uh, powders. I use the Perfect Pearl powders for the shine on the front and we will see that in a minute. You want to have quite a bit on here to put it down and then you will see how I cut it off with my uh, just my little guillotine Fiskars cutter and I'm telling you that went through a 120 pound cardstock that's what that black is, a real heavy black cardstock that I got at Michael's. And, and it went through the vellum in one swipe. And that is not an expensive guillotine cutter. Use your 40% C right there. All of that wonderful Perfect Pearl powder. How beautiful it looked when you added it to the Versamark. So I'm taking this off, uh, I'd say about a quarter of an inch right there one slice that's all it took and then I'm going to show you the stickle colors and the perfect pearls and I'm going to play my beautiful best hymn I, I just am blessed every time I hear this hymn and it's called Amazing Grace as you watch me put the stickles on and I hope you enjoy <laughs>
here we are. We're back to see what it looks like when it's dry. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that's with the Perfect Pearl Liquid. And the front on the shine is with Versamark with the Perfect Pearl Powder. See it there? Isn't that beautiful? And match up all your colors with your flowers and I think it looks absolutely stunning. And plus it just gives it an extra look of elegance uh, with the plain back, the vellum, and uh, everything matching there. I think it's a sweet card. And you can always put magnets on the back there of that leaf in the center behind the black if you wanted to hold it down or you can add some ribbon, whatever you like. So thank you for joining me today.